We do greet you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Most High God. We thank God now for you that are tuned in around the world. Thank God for giving your mind to tune in to the program. We're here to do tonight, as we often do, and as teach God's Word. Let me say, first and foremost, I sincerely thank God for the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Thank God for opening our understanding to true salvation, which is in his son, Jesus Christ. And I'm not ashamed of it over here. And we'll come past about with many here that are, that are certainly not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is the power of God unto salvation. And I thank God for it. Amen. Let me say to the saints that are with us. Those who are with us in Georgia and South Carolina, North Carolina, some of you we have been in contact with since the storm has been headed in that direction. Some we've communicated with even today by phone or either by text. We've reached out to others. I want all of you to know that we are here for you. Anything we can do for you all down in this area, let us know. Let us know. We have opened up the doors down here. If any of you need to come here, all you got to do is contact and, and let us know. We'll take care of you. We'll take care of you. We don't want you in harm's way. We know God is able. We know that. But if you feel like you need to leave, just let us know. And we got you. We'll take care of you. If you need to come this way, you don't have to worry about money. Just come on down and we'll take care of you now. And I mean that. Even after the storm is over, I'm sure phone lines and whatnot will be down. But I'm asking all of you that are with us, those that are with this ministry, Georgia, Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, wherever this storm go, we want you to contact us and just let us know that you're okay. If you need anything, let us know. Let us know. And I mean that now. All right? We're in this together. You're not by yourself. Amen. And I mean that. We've got brothers here that will load up and bring you whatever you need. Amen. And I mean that. All right. Lord willing, we still will be in Decatur, Georgia this upcoming Sunday, September 16th. We'll be there at 4211 Flat Shows Road, Decatur, Georgia. We ask the saints in the surrounding areas, come on out and be with us there in Decatur, Georgia. Service will begin on Sunday, September 16 at 1130. One day only, Lord willing, we'll be there. All right, twin, let's teach God's people. Tonight, saints, I want to warn the people of God. Tonight is one of them nights I just want to warn God's people. I got a heaviness in my heart. I want to warn the people of God. And that's my job. Ezekiel twin, 33 and start at verse 1. Ezekiel chapter 33. We're going to take our time tonight and we're going to start at verse number 1, brother. What did he say? Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Ezekiel said, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people. Speak to the children of thy people. You see how God is moving him to talk. Speak. And let me tell you something. When a man is of God, when God says speak, he got to speak. He got to open his mouth and talk. What did he say, twin? And say unto them, what do you say, brother? When I bring the sword upon a land. The Lord is saying, when I bring the sword, when trouble come, when I allow something to come upon the land. What you say, son? If the people of the land take a man of their coast. If the people of the land take a man of their coast. And set him for their watchman. And that man, he, he, he's the watchman. But now, if he going to say he's the watchman, he got to watch. And if he's truly a watchman, 
sent by our Lord Jesus Christ, he don't mind opening his mouth when he see harm. <coughs> when he see danger. Hallelujah to God. That's the watchman's job to open his mouth. What did he say, son? If when he seeth the sword come upon the land. What did he say, brother? He blow the trumpet. If the watchman blow the trumpet. And warn the people. Warn God's people. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet. Whoever hear the sound of the trumpet. And taketh not warning. And don't take warning. If the sword come and take him away. The trumpet was blown. But the people wouldn't take warning. They wouldn't listen. They wouldn't take heed. But the watchman still got to do his job, open his mouth and warn God's people. Let me tell you something. I can't make you listen. But one thing for sure, I got to own my mouth and warn you. I can't make you listen. What did he say, son? If the sword come and take him away. If the sword come and take him away. His blood shall be upon his own head. The watchman did his job. The Lord showed him trouble coming. Amen. And he opened his mouth and warned the people. If the people don't listen, their blood going to be upon their own. On their own head. What did he say, twin? He heard the sound of the trumpet. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. But he wouldn't listen. He wouldn't listen. What did he say, twin? His blood shall be upon him. What else, twin? But he that taketh warning. He that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. You hear that? This is why it's critical for the watchman to open his mouth. Amen. If the watchman see a false prophet. If the watchman see a spirit of deception. Come into your city. Come into your state. His job is to open his mouth and warn the people. That's his job. Amen. The watchman don't sit back and let the people be deceived. Be tricked and be overtaken by a spirit of deception. The watchman is not trying to be friends with the deceiver. The watchman is looking out for the sheep. And the watchman don't tell the sheep it's all right if they go and mingle with the wolf. Not if he God's watchman. God's watchman will never okay for sheep to go and mingle with a wolf. It won't happen. A wolf is not friends with sheep. A wolf come to destroy the sheep, eat the sheep. And a true shepherd will warn the sheep. A true shepherd is not trying to be friends with the wolf. Do you hear me talking? A true shepherd will never tell the chickens, the biddies, it's all right to go and play with the fox. No, you don't go play with the fox. Do you understand? Hear me talking. What do you say, twin? But if the watchman see the sword come. If the watchman see trouble. And blow not the trumpet. And he won't blow the trumpet. And the people be not warned. And the people be not warned because the watchman will not open his mouth. Then what? If the sword come and take any person from among them. What did he say, son? He is taken away in his iniquity. And what's going to happen? But his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. God ain't made everybody a watchman. Do you understand? God ain't made every man a pastor. He just didn't do it. Some men have made themselves pastors. Amen. Do you understand? And that's why they're trying to be friends with everybody. I want to stay a friend of Jesus. I don't care if every preacher in the earth hate me. As long as I'm a friend of Jesus. 
I'm okay. I'm looking out for God's people. That's my job. Hear me well. It is not okay for God's people to go and mingle with falsehood. It's not okay. The Lord, about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, I had a dream. Some of y'all here, I've told you about it. The world has never heard it, but they're going to hear it tonight. I had a dream about a year, year and a half, maybe two years ago. The dream was about Geno Jennings. And I don't mind saying it. And some of y'all done heard this before. In the dream, Satan. had highly exalted him. Satan had given him a seducing spirit to seduce the people of God. Some of y'all have heard it before. He got so high in this earth Satan gave him a special anointing to be able to deceive the people and turn them away from Jesus Christ. This is a dream I had about a year and a half, two years ago. Some of y'all already heard, but the world going to hear it tonight. In the dream, he had, got, he had gotten so big in this earth I remember in the dream he was driving a white stretch Cadillac convertible. He had the roof down. I remember seeing in the dream he had police escorting him and fire trucks bringing up the rear. He was big. But God was not with him. Around the Cadillac as he was driving, it was six to eight homosexual men dressed in all white like a stockinette suit, all of them. And they was dancing around the car. Dancing. Praising him, lifting him up, exalting him. As he was being escorted by the police officers, followed up by the fire engines, had got very big. The Lord allowed me to see this stuff almost two years ago. And I'm going to tell you something. The more I see what's taking place, that dream keeps coming back to me. People are being deceived and turned away from the Son of God, Jesus Christ, in large numbers. In large numbers. Everybody wasn't going along with the game. And you looking at one that wasn't going along with it. Don't play with the devil. Don't play with Satan. Don't do it. You're dealing with a spirit of deception. I will never tell the people of God. It's all right for you. To go and sit and listen to a man. That have said the son of God did not get out the grave. A man that has said the son of God was no more than a puppet. You will never have my permission to go listen to such foolishness. What can that stuff do to you other than deceive you? Amen. It certainly, if you got the right spirit, it certainly can't edify you. Not if you got what I got. Amen. That stuff stirs my spirit. 
Paul said, no man speaking by the Spirit will call Jesus a curse. If you can say amen and get excited about that, that ain't the Holy Ghost got you excited. Man that say, my God, Jesus couldn't raise Lazarus from the dead. Said a son had to step back. The father had to step forth and say, Lazarus, Lazarus, come, come forth. And I'm going to give you permission to go listen to that. There's no, look, there's nothing that can do for you but deceive you. It's not of God. This spirit of deception is sweeping the land. And many are jumping on board with it. The more, my God, man, I see what's taking place, my mind keep going back to that dream. The, the homosexuals around the car, the Lord was simply showing, man, these are the spirits, my God, man, that's supporting. These are the spirits that he's operating by. Not my spirit, unclean spirits. I don't mind telling you, it's not of God. It's not hard to figure out. If a man is speaking against the Son of God, Jesus Christ, that man is not of God. You ain't got to fast, you don't have to pray, you just got to believe what you can read. No man speaking by God's spirit will call Jesus a curse. No, sir. And no man can say he's Lord but by the Holy Ghost. Hear me talk. Second epistle of John twin. Start at verse 7. Now let's see what the Bible says about, uh, about it. About mingling with all of these different type of spirits. Second epistle of John, I start at verse number seven. What did it say, twin? For many deceivers are entered into the world. Many what? Deceivers. Are, de are what? Are entered into the world. Who do what? Who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. A holy man. They confess not what? That Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. Hold it a minute, y'all. Do y'all realize John is preaching this? John is teaching this after? Jesus had been put to death. John came after that. My God, after Jesus had been put to death, after Jesus rose from the dead and said, oh, there's many deceivers that are confessing that Jesus Christ hadn't come in the flesh. Jesus Christ came in the flesh when Mary birthed. And whenever, my God, he rose from the dead, he came back still in the flesh. It was glorified, but he was still in the flesh. Do you hear what I said? The seed of David is what was raised from the dead. And the seed of David is not a spirit. Let me talk. Many deceivers. Many deceivers. What they do, twin? For many deceivers are entered into the world. That do what, brother? Who confess not that Jesus Christ is coming to flesh. What did he say, brother? This is a deceiver and an antichrist. What, what, what more do you need? This is a deceiver. It doesn't matter how well they speak. This is a deceiver. A man that won't confess that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. And this is after he had been put to death. After he rose from the dead. Amen. John Cain said they won't confess that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. They won't do it. Do you understand? They won't confess that was Jesus Christ came in the flesh. They said that was the, that was the father that got up. You fall right in that scripture. And the Bible call him a deceiver. What did it say, twin? This is a deceiver and an antichrist. Antichrist means they are against Christ. Why would I tell saints it's okay to go and sit up and listen to an antichrist? Why would I tell my son? Hmm. He's four, five, six years old. He innocent. He don't know no better. I tell my son, look here. Take that rattlesnake by the tail and play with him. Why, why would I do that? Why would I tell my son to take a rattlesnake and play with him? Either I am ignorant of the danger of a rattle or I don't care about my son. 
It's one or the other. Either I'm ignorant at the danger of the danger of the rattlesnake or truly I don't care about my boy. It ain't nowhere in the world I'm going to tell him to mess with no rattlesnake. That thing is dangerous, man. Get away from that. A false prophet is more dangerous than a rattlesnake. That false prophet come along and sink that venom down in you. For you know what you're confused. Do you understand? Look, you believe the word until that venom got in you. When that venom got in you, now you're confused. Well, ho, ho, brother, explain that again. What done have venom done got in you? And now you're confused. Amen. Hear me talking. Now you're confused. This is what false prophets do to folk. They just want to muddy the water. Confuse you. Where your understanding is not clear on your salvation. Don't mingle with falsehood, saints. Don't do it. Brother Murray don't even listen to these to these devils. Do you hear what I say? Look here. I, I, I don't have the time or the patience to listen to them. Much less go see them. Why would I want to see a man that's making disciples after himself and not after Jesus Christ? Why? What did the Bible say, twin? Look to yourselves that we lose not those things which we have wrought. What did he say, son? But that we receive a full reward. What did he say? Whosoever transgresseth. Whosoever transgresseth. And abideth not in the doctrine of Christ. And won't stay in the doctrine of Christ. What's the condition? Have not God. He ain't got God. They won't stay in the doctrine of Christ. They don't have God. What's the doctrine of Christ, brother? He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ. What's the condition? He have both the Father and the Son. You stay in the doctrine of Christ, you're going to believe and preach the Father and the Son. That's the doctrine of Christ. Amen. If you're going to abide in the doctrine of Christ, preacher, you got to preach the Father and the Son. Amen. That's what John just said. That's what John just said. The doctrine of Christ consists of the Father and the Son. Not the Father and the Son don't exist. Amen. That ain't the doctrine of Christ. That's your doctrine. That's the doctrine of false prophets. What did he say, twin? If there come any unto you. Now, I want y'all to get this real good. The Bible said if there come any unto you. It doesn't matter who they are. It doesn't matter their title. It don't matter who they are. If there come any unto you and do what, twin? And bring not this doctrine. What doctrine? The doctrine of the Father and the Son, which is the doctrine of Christ. If they don't bring this doctrine, the doctrine of the Father and the Son, go visit them, pay them a visit, and fellowship with them. Receive him not into your house, neither bid him Godspeed. I don't have time for that foolishness. Man, I'm trying to be saved. I, I don't have time for that. Do you understand? The Bible said do what with him? Neither, neither receive him in, not into your house. Don't let him in your house. Neither bid him Godspeed. For he that bid him Godspeed. He that bid him Godspeed. Is partaker of his evil deeds. You partaking with his foolishness. Man won't preach Jesus. Man, what, what can you tell me about God? Do you understand? A man that won't preach Jesus? What can you tell me about God? You can't tell me nothing about God. Jesus told the disciples, he said, He that receiveth you, receiveth me. And he that receiveth me, receiveth him that sent me. Amen. You won't receive him, you ain't receiving him that sent him. You won't preach Jesus. Let me tell you something, man. You can't tell me nothing about God. You don't know God. You don't know God. Romans 16 and 17, bro. Romans 16 and 17. I thank God for Jesus Christ, for the knowledge of Jesus Christ. My God had taken fear from this preacher. I will teach what's written in this Bible. I don't care who don't like it. And I don't care who back off from us. I don't care. One thing I've learned in this way. The 
The only one you can totally depend on is Jesus Christ. Amen. Men come and they go. The only one you can totally put your trust and confidence in, Jesus Christ. Amen. And that's where our confidence is at over here. And let me tell you something. Everything is fine over here. My confidence is not in me. It's not in saints. My confidence is in Jesus the Christ. I don't care who back off. The message here is consistent, it's firm, and it's not changing. It's Jesus Christ. Nothing else matters. What do you say, twin? Now I beseech you, brother. I beseech you, brother. Mark them which cause divisions and offenses. I want you to hear this. The Bible said mark them. You know what mark them means? Make a note of them. Amen. You make a mental note of them who cause what? Which cause divisions and offenses. Who cause divisions and offenses and do what? Contrary to the doctrine which you have learned. Hold it. Contrary to what? The doctrine. The doctrine. Which you have learned. He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ have both the Father and the Son. That's what John said. Amen. Now Paul is saying, mark them that cause what? Divisions and offenses. Contrary to what? To the doctrine which ye have learned. The doctrine that we learn is the doctrine of Christ, which consists of the Father and the Son. Now you mock any man that's coming contrary to that. You mock, note any man that's coming contrary to the doctrine of Christ, which consists of Father and Son. And after we mock him, what we gonna do, twin? We're gonna go fellowship with him. And avoid them. Do what, twin? And avoid them. I'm talking Bible. I'm not talking emotions and friendship. I'm talking book here. The Bible said avoid them. I ain't got time for that foolishness, man. The word of God is right. You can't teach saints based on emotions and how you feel. Let me tell you something. Your information got to come from this. If a man won't preach the doctrine of Christ, which is the Father and the Son, avoid that man. Amen. Avoid him. I don't have time for that, man. Let me, let me tell you something. Time is too short. Do you understand? Time is too short. We ain't got time for foolishness. The Bible said what, twin? Now I beseech you, brother. Do what? Mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned. And do what? And avoid them. Why? For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ. Hold on. They that are such serve not who? Our Lord Jesus Christ. But what do they do? But their own belly. Their own belly. Their own belly. Amen. You know what own belly mean? Look here. They simply trying to get out of you what they can get out of you. Saints of God, all you got to do is open your spiritual eyes. Are these men making disciples after Jesus Christ? Or are they making disciples after themselves? All you've got to do is just be honest with yourself. They're not making disciples after Jesus Christ. They're making disciples after themselves. What the Bible said, brother? And by good words and fair speeches. Bible said by good words and fair speeches. What do they do? Deceive the hearts of the simple. Simple. Naive. Don't know no better. Amen. Folks ought to thank God for truth. Let me tell you something. Y'all ought to thank God for the truth of God's word. I don't have games and gimmicks. And let me tell you something. I don't want none of you my, as my disciple. I'm following Jesus. And you better be following him as well. Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. We got to follow Jesus Christ here. You keep men where God put man. Equal to dust. Hear me talking. The Bible said what? Twin, read that last verse again. And by good words and fair speeches. The Bible said by good words and fair speeches. Deceive the hearts of the simple. Deceive the hearts of the simple. You know what? I look in the Bible and I see how the apostles in the Bible, they called a spade a spade. Amen. They simply called a spade a spade. 
We're in an hour now where men won't do it. Amen. They want to love shows. They want to say, but well, we got to go and show love. Let me tell you something. When I tell you the truth, I'm showing you love. When I tell you what God said, I'm showing love. These are the words of love. God is love. Amen. Philippians 23, 17. I want you to hear the preacher well. I'm simply here to warn you. You don't have to listen. But let me tell you something. The only way this preacher here get a relief, I got to let it out. I got to warn you. Now you don't have to listen. That's between you and God. But the way I say myself is by blowing the trumpet. Do with it what you please. <laughs> Philippians 3.17, twin. What did it say, son? Brethren. Brethren. Be followers together, me. Paul said, be followers together of me. And mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example. Paul said, you have us for an example. What did he say, twin? For many walk of whom I have told you often. Many walk of whom I have told you often. And now tell you even weeping. Paul said, now it done broke my heart to the point I'm telling you even weeping. What are they, twin? That they are the enemies of the cross of Christ. You know what an enemy of, a cross of, of the cross of Christ is? An enemy Amen. of the cross of Christ. Saints of God, who died on the cross? Jesus. Jesus, the Son of God. Paul said, many walk, but they are the enemies of the cross of Christ. What is he saying? They write amongst you. They walking. They write in religion. They professing to be of God. Paul said, but they're the enemies of the cross of Christ. They're the enemies of the cross. These men are out making this site. Matthew, brother, 23. Start at verse 14, if I'm not mistaken. Matthew 23 and 14. Let me show you what they're doing here. Matthew 23 and at verse 14. What did they say, twin? Warn to you, scribes and Pharisees. Warn to you, scribes and Pharisees. Hypocrites. What are they? Hypocrites. What are they? Hypocrites. What they do, twin? For you devour widows' houses. Who, who, who houses? Widows' houses. You know, a widow, her husband is the past. Do you understand? False prophecy, see, she's vulnerable. Do you understand? My God, man, don't let them have had a little life insurance, a little policy, a little money left, left behind. The Bible said he devoured widows' houses and do what? And for pretense, make long prayer. For pretense. Eternal Father, God of heaven and earth. He got an agenda. He heard some money was left. The Bible said devour widows' houses and for, for pretense, make long prayer. What did it say, twin? Therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. God said, I see him. And I got them, and they're going to receive the greater damnation. What did he say, twin? Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees. Hypocrites. Hypocrites. For you can pass sea and land. Call it. They do what? Can pass sea and land. You know what can pass sea and land mean? they traveling everywhere. Amen. The Bible says they can pass sea and land. They're flying everywhere. Do you understand? Be here to, be, look at being this city today, being this city here tomorrow, this city next week. The Bible says they can pass sea and land. And what are they doing, twin? For you can pass sea and land to you make... You can pass sea and land to make what? One proselyte. You do all that traffic to make one follower. Do you understand? One proselyte. What you say, twin? And when he is made... When that one is made... ye make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. Twofold. Twofold. More the child of hell than yourselves. Why? Because they take on your spirit and believe your doctrine. So therefore, they become twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. Folks, you need to open your eyes. I'm going to tell y'all, y'all don't have to believe me, but I see the spirit of deception just as clear as I'm looking at all y'all faces. It's running rapid. And folk are jumping on board. And let me tell you some preachers, I'm seeing preachers starting to compromise starting to take down by God man to jump on board with men that deny the existence of their savior jumping on board with the spirit of antichrist that then once testified that they see it and they believe it but now they want to go with an antichrist something wrong strong delusion 
a strong delusion. Let me tell you something. Every preacher, if you are of God, you don't need validation from a false from a, a, a from a false prophet. If you're of God, your validation should come from Jesus Christ. One preacher said to me, "My God, man, some weeks ago." He said, men go and hook up with men like this because God haven't given them a ministry. They don't have a ministry themselves. So they just join themselves up with something. Let me tell you something. If I've got to stand by myself, long as Jesus is with me, I'm okay. I will never connect with no false prophet. I want the Lord to come here and find me so doing his will. My God, if I have to be working by myself. Do you understand? That's got the hammer that's working by myself. Long as he come and find me, so doing his will. I don't want him to come and find me hooked up with falsehood. Hooked up with someone that didn't deny the Savior Jesus Christ. And you become too afraid to preach what you know to be right out the Bible. The Bible says you love the praise of men more than the praise of God. You go hook up with ministers like that, I dare you to get up and say the Son of God is alive. Try it. I dare you to try it. Hear me talking. If you're of God, the only validation you need is from Jesus Christ. Paul said on one occasion, oh men for something. He said, but God stood with me. And that, that's the only thing I'm looking for, Lord, long as the Lord is with me. And let me tell you something, I feel a good push. I feel a wind at my back. Just keep preaching Jesus. Amen. I don't care who back off. Just keep preaching Jesus. Yes, sir. Preaching, sir. Yes, sir. I got some forerunners in that Bible. I read what Paul declared. I determined not to know anything among you. Save Jesus Christ. And him crucified. Do you understand? I read what Paul said. We preach not ourselves. But Christ Jesus the Lord. And I was saved, your servants, for Jesus' sake. We got four runners. Second Corinthians 20, 119, brother. And all thy getting, get a good, clear understanding. Second Corinthians chapter 1, and at verse 19. And all thy getting, get an understanding. What did he say, twin? For the Son of God. Who? For the Son of God. I love how the gate opened up. For the Son of God, who? Jesus Christ. Paul, Paul, what you say, Paul? Who was preached among you by us? Hold, hold it, Paul. Is Paul lying? Paul said, "A son of God." Is, is that what he said to him? For the son of God, Jesus. Oh, hold, hold, hold it. For the Father. For the Son of God. For the Father, for twin. The son of God. No, twin. The Son don't exist. For the Son of the God. The Son stopped, twin, at the cross. For the Son of the God. The Son didn't get up. For the Son of God. Why is Paul preaching a dead man? Why? If the son is dead, why is he preaching it? Paul said, for the son of God. Who is he, twin? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ? Who was preached among you by us. Paul letting you know, this is who we preached. Why don't you preach him, preachers? What, what's, what's the problem? What, what, look at Paul said, the son of God, Jesus Christ, which was preached among you by us. Fire! Why won't you preach what Paul preached? You say you're apostles. Why don't you preach what these apostles preached? People, you better open your eyes. The Son of God, Jesus Christ, which was preached among you by us, even by me and Sylvanus and Timothy. He, he letting you know we all preached him. He letting you know this is what our message was. Saints, don't be deceived. The spirit of deception is running through the land. It's running through the land. Hear me talk. They can come and sit up in my backyard. I wouldn't look at, out my back window at them. I wouldn't look out the window at them. I don't have time for that foolishness. I'm not just talking. A man that don't know my Savior's alive, what can you tell me about God? 
Listen, g- give me Acts, brother, 530. What can you tell me about God if you don't know my Savior's alive? Acts 5 and that verse 30 said, what? The God of our fathers raised up Jesus. Why don't you preach that? The God of our fathers raised up Jesus. And what did he do? Whom he slew and hanged on a tree. The one you slew and hung on a tree. Him have God exalted with his right hand. To do what? To be a prince and a savior. That's what God did. Saints don't be deceived. I'm telling you right now. Don't play with a with, look at, don't play with a rattlesnake. Paul warned the Corinthian church about this stuff. He warned the church. Paul never told the Corinthians to go play around with this foolishness. He warned them. He warned them. He didn't tell them to go fellowship with them. He warned the people. Second Corinthians, brother, eleven and two. He warned them, and that's what a watchman will do. He'll warn the people. Hear me talk. What did he say, twin? Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians eleven and that verse two. What did he say? For I am a je- I am jealous over you. With what? With godly jealousy. What did he say? For I have espoused you to one husband. Read it, son. That I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. What did he say? But I fear. Do you hear Paul? Paul said, "But I fear." That's what. Lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve. Do, do you hear Paul's concern? Paul said, I fear. Saints of God, I have the same fear. I fear because I see the level of deception that's taking place. My dream keep coming back to me. This is what I showed you. It's now happening. And people are being deceived and turned away from their only salvation, which is Jesus Christ. And people want to listen to this and watch this. Don't play with the devil. Why would you go dancing with the devil? Don't do that. You're not stronger than a seducing spirit. What did he say, twin? But I fear. I fear. Lest by any means. Read it, son. As the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety. As the serpent, just like that serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety. So your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. He said, just like that serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, his ability to to seduce. He said, some of your minds, some of your minds is going to be corrupted, deceived, tricked, turned from the simplicity that's in Christ. Some smooth talking mystery man come along, tell you he done seen the Father. He done seen the Father. The Son is dead, but I done seen the Father. And you believe it. No, sir. You. Is it me, y'all? Here a man come along. He tell you the son of God is dead. But I've seen the father. And people believe it. People believe this. People believe it. What did he say brother? For if he that come and preach of another Jesus. Another Jesus. This is what they're doing. They're preaching another Jesus. Open your eyes. Peter said that same Jesus that you crucified, the Lord that made them both Lord and God that made them both Lord and Christ. The same one that was crucified, therefore let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God have made that same Jesus whom you have crucified, both Lord and Christ. They said it ain't the same one that died on the cross. The Bible just said it was the same Jesus. But you come along and say it wasn't the same. Are we supposed to believe your mouth or what we can read? People today are taking what men say over what they can read out the book. It's a spirit of deception. Open your eyes and your ears, people, to what's going on. Before you become the next victim of this deception. What did it say, twin? For if he that come and preach of another Jesus... Read it, twin. Whom we have not preached. And what else? Or if you receive another spirit which we have, which ye have not received. Or you take on another spirit. 
Paul and you know my God you come along and take on another spirit that you hadn't received what's going to happen twin which ye have not received or another gospel or another gospel which remember he... remember what Paul said Jesus Christ was raised my God man the seed of David Jesus Christ was raised my God man from the dead according to his gospel Amen. according to his gospel but now you coming with another gospel saying that wasn't the seed of David because the seed of David is not spirit the seed of David is flesh that's a body you're saying the body didn't get up. Well, then Paul lied. It's an Second Timothy two eight got to be a lie, because Paul spoke plain and said a seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel. But according to the gospels that's out here today, that wasn't a body that came from David's house. That wasn't the seed of David. You you preaching another gospel. But what's going to happen, twin? Which you have not accepted. And what happened? You might well bear with it. And this is what happens. You come along and be deceived, and before you know it, amen, 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 you start saying amen to a lie. What done happened? You done took on the spirit that you've been sitting under. It doesn't matter how many times a man say a thing to determine whether or not it's right. What determines whether a thing is right is when you can read it here. A man can say a thing 50 times until you hear it enough, you will start repeating it. But the question is, is it here? And the answer is no, it's not here. It's not, it's not written here. Stop repeating these lies and search the scripture. Go back to Matthew, brother, 23 and that verse uh, 14. Let me show you what they're doing. Matthew 23 and that verse 14. They're not making disciples after Jesus Christ. Matthew 23, 14 said, what twin? Woe unto you scribes and Pharisees. Woe unto you scribes and Pharisees. Hypocrites. Hypocrites. For you devour widows' houses. And for a pretense. Make long prayer. What did he say, son? Therefore you shall receive the greater damnation. What did he say, son? Woe unto you scribes and Pharisees. Woe unto you scribes and Pharisees. Hypocrites. Hypocrites. For you can pass sea and land to make one proselyte. You my God, go here and there, this state, this city, to make one proselyte, and what's gonna happen, twin? And when he is made, when you get through making him, you make him one, you make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. Not one fold, twofold. More the child of hell than yourselves. What did he say, son? Woe unto you, ye blind guides. What did he say, brother? Which say, whosoever shall swear by the temple. They make disciples after themselves. Acts, brother, 20, 29. I want to stir up your pure minds. I want y'all to think about this stuff. Ella Murray is here to help you. Ella Murray is here to help you. But I see the level of deception that's in the land. God knows. I, I see it. Acts 20 and 29, twin said what? For I know this. Paul said I know this. That after my departing. After my departing. Shall grievous wolves enter in among you. Doing what? Not sparing the flock. Let me tell you something. They came in, y'all. Grievous wolves have crept right in. And they're not sparing the flock. What they doing, twin? Also of your own selves. Shall men do what? Shall men arise. Doing what? Speaking perverse things. To draw disciples after Jesus Christ. To draw away disciples after them. Not after Jesus, after themselves. All you have to do is be honest. Are these men turning people to Jesus? Or are they turning men to themselves? All you have to do is be honest. They're not turning men to Jesus Christ. They are turning men and women to themselves. Don't play saints with the devil. Don't play with the devil. I don't listen to that deception. Do you hear me? I don't listen to it. In my house, my God, man, we own radio and television on Sunday morning. When our radio broadcasts go off, my radio go off. I don't want to hear that stuff that's coming behind us. I don't. I'm not nobody's Lord, but God knows I got to warn you according to the scripture. There's a deception that's sweeping the land. And God sent me alone to warn you. You better be careful. So, oh, Mary, I got the Holy Ghost. 
I ain't worried about them being deceived, really. I read where some angels was in heaven. Do, do you hear me? And let me tell you something. They was angels of God. Do, do, do you hear the preacher? I read where there was some angels in heaven. Do you hear me? And this same spirit managed to seduce them right in heaven. Don't play with the devil. My job is to warn you. What would it could it profit you as a child of God to go and listen to a deceiver other than to confuse you? That stuff can't edify you. Revelation 12 and 3, brother, we coming to a close. Revelation chapter 12 and at verse 3. And all that I get to get to understand. Don't play with the devil, saints. Don't play. Bible said not to tempt the Lord. Well, I'm going to just go and, you know, I got the Holy Ghost. Them snake handlers say the same thing. It's in the same boat. Don't tell me that. It's in the same boat. The snake handlers say the same thing. But what they going to do? They, they're going to, you know, the, what, what he said, you know, can take up serpents and what. He so said it, but he also said don't tempt Christ either. Don't you go tempting the Lord. Do you understand? You have no business trying to handle them snakes. Do you understand? The Lord ain't told you to do that. Neither have the Lord told you to go mingle with false prophets. Mingle in falsehood. Just like them snakes bite some of them folk and they die, you're going to end up getting bit and you're going to be spiritually dead. My job is to warn you. You don't have to listen. But let me tell you something. Now, look here. The only way I, look, this burden been on me for days. And the only way I can get it off is to teach you. Now I'll be able to rest tonight. What did he say, brother? And there appeared another wonder in heaven. What did he say, son? And behold, a great red dragon. A great red dragon in, in where? In heaven. And what did he say? And behold, a great red dragon. This is right in heaven. A great red dragon. What? Having seven heads and ten horns. And what happened? And seven crowns upon his head. What did he do? And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven. His tail? His ability to seduce. His craftiness, his manipul his, his his able to man ability to manipulate through a through a third part of the stars of heaven. Who is that? The angels. The, this is right in heaven. This is in heaven. Don't play with the devil. You die here in earth. This spirit was able to seduce by God, man, angels in heaven with God. You in earth. Don't play with the devil. What did he say, twin? And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven. His tail drew a third part of the stars of heaven. And did cast them to the earth. Did? Amen. Look here. A power done seduced them and done got them thrown out of heaven with the spirit that seduced them. Drop down to verse 7, twin. What did it say, son? And there was war in heaven. There was war in heaven? Michael and his angels. Michael and his angels? Fought against the dragon. Fought against the dragon? And the dragon fought in his angels. Holy. So the dragon got angels now? How the dragon get angels? He seduced them. They left their holy estate with God because of Satan's ability to seduce them. This is right in heaven. You in earth. Don't play with the devil. The Lord sent his word to warn you. It's up to you to take heed and listen. These fellows, my God, man, Satan, my God, that came along and anointed them, my God, with a special anointing to be able to seduce people. They got a charm about themselves. Charisma. Charm. Do you understand? Swag. Do you understand? Swag to be able to draw men and women. Straight from Jesus Christ. Got that little stroll about them. Do you understand? Sometimes they want to pull a pencil. Do you understand? A 
bunch of joke. Trying so hard to be like another man and not the man Christ Jesus. It's a disgrace before heaven. And people came see. What did it say, Twain? And there was war in heaven. There was war in heaven. Michael and his angels. Michael and his angels. Fought against the dragon. They fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels. The dragon got angels now. He was able to seduce them. Don't give heed to Satan. What did it say, Twain? And prevailed not. Prevailed not. Neither was there a place found any more in heaven. What happened to him? And the great dragon was cast out. He was cast out? That old serpent. That old serpent. Called the devil and Satan. And what? what? Which deceiveth the whole world. Saints of God, do y'all believe that right there? He deceived who? The whole world. Now, now let me ask a question. Do Satan come down here as a spirit himself to come and just try to, you know, come and, come and talk to this and talk to that one. Satan worked through people. Satan works through people. The ability that some of these preachers that I see have, Satan has given it to them. To deceive, manipulate, Capture the minds of people. I'm not at liberty to say a whole lot. I'm really not because I give people my word. But when this spirit can convince men to walk away from their wives, walk away from their families because the, the family don't want to go along with the deceiver you deceive yourself do you hear me I'm not making this up do you look people have told me daddy done said if mama don't want to line up with the man of God mama can get the step are you serious man are you that deceived you gonna leave your wife because of a deceiver These are the calls that I get. I, I deal with this to wives to left husbands because of a deceiver. Any man that's of God will do all he can to save every marriage. Amen. No man that's of God is satisfied and content with a husband and wife being apart. Something's wrong with that. I deal with this stuff on a weekly basis. And I mean this. I mean it to the core. Every week is another call. Another email. Somebody crying out for help. God made me for this hour. For this hour. To help his people. And I don't care who don't understand it. Talk to God because I'm not listening to him. Do you hear what I said? I said, talk to God if you don't understand it because Elder Murray, I got a single ear. I'm listening to Jesus. I'm not listening to man's mouth. Man's mouth, come along and tell me, Murray, you, you preach Jesus too much. Shut your mouth. Go tell the liar, the, the deceiver, that he's deceiving folk too much. Don't tell me I preach Jesus too much for you to tell me that I preach Jesus too much it lets me know you deceive. My question to you is why you don't preach Jesus. You preach Jesus too much. The churches have become a mess now. And let me tell you something. This stuff is spreading now everywhere. Men that used to take a stand. Backs now be getting like jelly. Families taking churches over. Children running the church. Wives running the church. The women running the church. No, sir. It ain't never been like that in this book right here. Never. 
And when you allow that, you're going to have a mess on your hands. And I got men and women here tonight. Do you hear me? God made me the leader here. Not Sister Murray. Not Bria and not Brandy. And not Brennan or Bracey. He made me the pastor. My family don't run nothing here. I'm listening to the Lord. And whatever God said, I don't care if wife say the opposite. I don't care if children say the opposite. It's what God said. It's getting to be a mess now. This thing is getting slim. It's getting slim. I thank God for all the encouraging emails. I thank God for them. I don't mind telling you. It gets heavy sometimes. And the encouragement sometimes is good. It's needed. I don't mind telling you. I got one yesterday or day before just saying thank God for this ministry. Said it, it, it's, it's been so encouraging. It's like a gem to me. Like, like a jewel or a gem they said. That was encouraging. Do you understand? That was encouraging. We get the different emails. Do you have a church in this area? Do you have a church in this area? Different ones to reach out. We can't wait the fifth weekend fellowship. Excited. Looking to be there. I've never met these folk. It's encouraging. When I see the deception that's taking place. I see so many folks being deceived. So many folks being made disciples after men and not after Jesus Christ. And that's what I see. I'm very much encouraged though. And I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm laying with Jesus. I said I'm laying with Jesus. And I'm not budging. I'm not moving and I'm not budging. I don't care who back off. I don't care. Look here. Take it from my mouth. I don't care. I'm not in ministry to please men. Or to please women. I'm here to please Jesus Christ. That's why I'm here. I don't care who don't care. Who, who, who don't care for me. I don't care. I thank God for Jesus. I am that I am by the grace of God. He made me what I am. And I thank God he ain't got me hooked and attached to men. Because they change with the weather. Stay with Jesus. Just stay with Jesus. Saints of God, hear the warning. Don't play with the devil. Don't do this. You that are watching and you that are listening. Until next time. Peace be unto you.